Hello. Disembodied team captain voice here again. This time, this is to follow on final preparations for our um, crafts demonstration. I've got it laid out here in the um, in, in the way that we will start. So we will have three hoops in a ladder formation on one side. That then will change to a curved course for our solo runs. Do you see? Now, this is how I've worked it. I've, I've put you into teams to work three sections. The section with the gate, section with the barrels, section with three hoops. As I said with the last video. And I've divided you up like this. Let me just read it out. Here we go. All highly organised. Um, the gate section. Hoop, gate, hoop. I've put Spike as a beginner, CC to work with them, and Milo to work with them. So Spike will be the beginner dog. So you may start the hoops a little bit closer together to the gate. Then spread them out a wee bit more so that they're in line. And CC and Milo will do the three in the proper way. You three, um, you with Sean, or I think who's being a dog holder, um, you then will be responsible for putting those three pieces of equipment out into the arena as we start. So that, when we have our rehearsal time at 8.45, Sean, Carol, Milo, and one helper perhaps, you will walk into the arena with these three pieces of equipment and your dogs. The middle bit, the barrels. I've put down beginner dog, Elvis. Elvis will be doing the figure of eight exercise with Carol standing in the middle between the two barrels. You will then be joined with Jeff, who will either work Amy or Belle, not both at the same time, but choose one, Jeff. And Angelina, as the advanced handler, she will either work River or Winter. So you will have one dog each, and you three will be um, the responsible for taking the barrels and the tunnel into the arena, setting that up. The hoops, one, two, three hoops there. We may have a fourth hoop. So there may be four hoops to take into the arena. The beginner dog will be Rona with Barnaby. Rona with Barnaby will show us how she does a nice sit-stay, walks to the end hoop and calls Barnaby through the hoops, all three together. The other dog that is um, paired up with her will be Colleen with, Pads, um, with Echo. And Echo will show us how she sits, stays until Colleen can stand at the middle hoop and send her through and then finally stand next to Echo and send Echo through all three hoops. When you've done that, then change the course so that the course turns into a circle, a half circle like that. So Rona and Eka, uh, Rona and Colleen will be responsible for bringing in the hoops. Once we've done that, then we will go into our solo runs. So all the dogs that I've mentioned just now, they will be running fur. They will run in. Um, they will run. Um, I will put a rough order. 
But I think if we put the beginner level dogs in first, beginner and veteran levels, so followed by the improver dogs, the dogs that are were indicating the improver level, followed by the advanced level, which would be Milo um, and Angelina. And hopefully myself will be able to run a dog, um, hopefully Wiki, um, in the in one in one um, in one demo, and I might try and add Moochie as um, an example in um, using him in the, as an example in the second demo. I'm working it out. Like I said last night on Messenger, we should do this. We should be able to set this up in. Um, go into the arena, set this up within two or three minutes, um, and then we'll have two or three minutes, no more than five, to actually go through these points. So that means ten minutes. In ten minutes, we are walking this stuff into the arena. We've set it up, and we are. And I'm introducing the obstacles and I'm walking from one bit to the other to the other to introduce people to the obstacles, not necessarily the dogs. Then we will come out of the arena and make a queue and that's when we need to make decisions about who is following who so that we can... Um, get the dogs in and out of the arena as quickly as possible. And that's where I estimate we can have two minutes a dog, up to two minutes a dog. The quicker the, the quicker dogs, obviously, will um, be less than that, but I want to allow, you know, the dogs such as, the, you know, showing that you've, everybody gets a chance to go all the way around the equipment. Um, and do a full, you know, do a proper course. So two minutes a dog, but that's going to include you walking out into the arena, getting your dogs off and taking your dog, putting your lead down or somewhere or having it stuck in your hand, get your dog in front of the obstacle you're going to start at and go. And then out. And if you look at this... Um, there will be, let's say, I mean, I'm imagining this and I'm sitting almost in front of the commentary box here and to this side here where the tunnel is would be the way in and out, okay, with a section next door where they keep all the different equipment. So we'll be going in and out. If your dog and if you plan to start over on the furthest side, then I suggest you stick close to the edge and as your partner goes past you with their dog, you skip round, get yourself in position. All right, that's what I suggest. Um, any more questions, put it on Messenger. I'm going to try and write this up and then put it on a document and then that will be emailed to you as well. Okay, thank you, gang, and thank you for your efforts, because without those efforts and your enthusiasm, this wouldn't get off the ground. So really looking forward to, hopefully, we've done what preparation we can. Um, if you can get a little bit of extra individual practice in Groovy, um, for example... Uh, I might try and work or um, if a couple of the advanced people want to actually uh, stand on the outside edge and work the course around instead of standing in the centre, that's fine by me. So leave that to you and we'll talk further, um, you know, closer to, you know, as we go and also make final decisions when we do our rehearsals. 8.45 on the 10th.